University, where you take adult shit and cut it into kid-sized pieces. My name is Ms. A, and today we'll be talking about how to get over a breakup. With that being said, let's get started, shall we? So we've all been there at one time or another. The tears, the pain, the feeling of a loss, aka the breakup. And we all have our own ways of dealing with such pain. Some with a bottle of wine, you know, a friend's shoulder and, and some Kleenex. Some deleting their entire Instagram gallery of pictures and memories of their significant others. Changing your Facebook status and even throwing out all the things that remind you of the one. Whether you thought that one was the one for the moment and you were just enjoying the ride and didn't realize how attached you got or you thought that was the one for your lifetime, like your only one in true love. Everyone processes breakups differently. So this classroom discussion isn't going to tell you exactly, you know, isn't gonna prescribe basically a one size fit all. This is how you get over a breakup. This is how, what you should do at this time and this is what you should do at that time. But what I want to offer you is at least three for sure guidelines that should help you get through the process of grieving the loss of a relationship. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is remember that everything happens for a reason. Now, no matter what religion or faith beliefs, or even if you don't have a faith belief, having the thought that everything happens for a reason gives some ability to detach yourself from, woe is me, I carry all the blame for this breakup happening. Whether or not you actually propel the breakup by actually saying, I don't wanna be with you anymore and are grieving the loss of the relationship, or you're the person that was told that you were no longer wanted Once in a relationship. Once in a while, in TV land, a character will drop a gem, aka words of wisdom, in which your spirit can really grasp to, and your soul goes, aha, I must remember that. And one of those, for me at least, happened on one of my favorite TV shows, The Office. And I don't remember if it was season six or seven, but Erin, the secretary, learns that Andy, her boyfriend, has had a relationship in the office with Angela, um, the head accountant person, and didn't disclose it to her. So this really breaks her heart because she feels like she doesn't really know him. And Pam um, comes up to her and says, hey, you know, it's not about who you've been with, but who you end up with. And she goes on to say that the heart doesn't know what it wants until it finds it. So to me, this really encapsulates the, the, the second thing I would like to give to you as far as food for thought when it comes to processing a breakup, which is that sometimes it's for the betterment because it really is about finding the right person and not just a person. And I know that sounds weird to say because most of us don't think we're just trying to have fillers. But sometimes when we really break it down, a lot of what we uh, hope and dream and inspire with for somebody is really, or with somebody, excuse me, is really very idealistic. And doesn't really take into account all the things that make it not a match. Uh, life working itself out will show you why the person that you end up with is better than all the people that you have been with. So keep that in mind. Last but not least, the last thing I want to impart on you when it comes to dealing with a breakup is that your self-worth isn't defined by the person you're no longer with. Now that's easy for me to say, but it's hard for someone to hear. 
Because usually we attach our status, our self-esteem to people who we love and who have loved us. And, you know, whether it was a good relationship or a bad relationship you were holding on to, ironically, we always still attach our self-esteem and our self-worth to the person that we have been with. But I want to tell you, you are the same person you were in terms of value. You are the same brilliant, awesome person you were before you met that person, while you met that person, and even after being with that person. In other words, that person may have treated you badly or they may have treated you well. But in any case, they never defined you as a person. You define yourself. And I hope that you have enough love, self-love, to recognize the fact that you are a wonderful person, worthy of love, and not define your ability to be loved by the fact that someone has broken up with you or that you've broken up with somebody because it just really wasn't hope right. That um, you'll take all that I've said into consideration. Every day is a brand new day and offers brand new possibilities. And so even when it sucks, you can and you will get through it. So be strong. That's it for today. Just a few tips on how to get through a breakup. Thank you for attending class. Go ahead and do your homework by subscribing to this channel, commenting, and thumbs up at this video. My name is Miss A, and until next time, remember, you must be this tall to pay bills.